Hey guys, it's AG Sky's The Limit with another episode of Let's Get Crafty, and today I'm going to be showing you some more of the crafts that I've made. There's a line with the sky, with the sea, and it calls me, but no one knows how far it goes. And now we're going to start with the things that I've made that are on Harmony. So, this is just, I just like to document the things that I've been making for my dolls. So the first thing that I have is this necklace that she's wearing. And as you can see, it has these beads that were from this little bead kit. And I didn't, at first I was just like, oh, they're just some like little beads. But then I opened it up and I thought they were really nice, especially these silver ones. So I made a little necklace out of them and it actually tied. And then the next thing that we have is this little like jumper almost. So it goes over the shoulder. It's kind of like an apron style. It goes over the shoulder and then it ties in the back. And it actually, t there's two ribbons up here and two ribbons down here and I have them crisscrossly tied. So that just kind of looks like a big fluffy ribbon in the back. So my dad's like cutting vegetables upstairs or something. And then underneath it, there's actually mesh. Sorry. There's mesh so that it like puffs out. Um, so I don't necessarily have to put, um, you know, a crinoline underneath it, and just a little bit of fluff, and I like that, and it's, so you don't need to really worry about that, and then I had added lace here, and it's sewn in, and then the other thing she has is this, like, black shirt, I guess, and the ends of it are kind of messy, but they're basically ribbon, I think I need a better system for that, um, and then it buttons up the back, which see there's buttons and how I did that was I put Mod Podge over the ribbon so that it wouldn't fray and then I cut it or I cut I think I cut it first and then put Mod Podge and then it actually get, gets black and lacy right here so it's kind of like a lacy collar around her neck and then the final thing I have to show you is obviously these wings so I'm thinking I'm gonna take them off her but they they actually um safety pin on okay. and then I made them and then they look like this in the back. And they, they actually kind of just wobble because they're, they're safety pinned on. But I think that kind of looks cool. So I'm going to take them off. Here they are. And the reason that they're safety pinned is because basically I thought it would be easier. Because basically then I can attach them to anything. Because, you know, um, I can attach them to her cloth. I can attach, like if she's not really wearing something that covers her back. And I can attach them to her clothing, and they just look really nice. And I'm going to put them down and film them, actually. They have these little, like, so this is mesh on the inside, and they have, this is the front that, this is the part that faces for it, and then they have these little flowers, and then they have little gems that I glued on, and then there's actually star beads at the end, and then here's the flower. And I put glued, hot glued yarn around the edges. And actually this is really messy because this is the first thing I've ever done like this. And they're made of wire. And then I put yarn over the wire to cover it up. And it's just really messy. There's a ton of hot glue. It's They look good from a distance and for pictures and stuff. And then I glued, um, so I used this fabric for the back and I glued pieces of lace. And then there's more yarn here. And then I glued these little ribbons on to hang. So this is what it looks like from the back. And then I actually, for the safety pin, I sewed it and hot glued it. And then I sewed this little piece of ribbon to hold them together. So, they're kind of messy. And I'm, I'm, honestly, this is my first attempt at doing anything like this. So, I'm proud of them. And I'm going to move on to the stuff that's on Clarissa. Okay, now we're going to move on to the stuff that is on Clarissa. So, I'll just start from the top. I made this hair, hair piece. It's kind of supposed to be mermaidy. It's like kind of like a little crown, and I really like it. And then I also made a matching choker. It has some more of those black jewels, but it also has these like aqua marine or aqua blue or teal or seafoam green, whatever, from this other bead kit. And then, so they match. And um, I think they would honestly look really good with her mermaid tail, but she doesn't put on. And then I made this thing out of yarn, which is kind of like a hair extension. I don't know how I feel about it. I just made it last minute because I'm playing around with different things in her hair. And I thought that looked nice. 
And the next thing that we have is this, I need to just come down, is this shawl, which um, I was kind of trying to make like, um, like I don't mean like an actual kimono, but do you know like the kimono shawls? Because I have one of those and they're from Francesca's and like the store for myself and I didn't really execute the shoulders correctly on this, um, but I actually think it looks good because it kind of looks like off the shoulder. Um, this whole outfit's like just mermaid. And then this top's old. We don't need to worry about that. This is before I actually knew how to like do, when I was, this is when I was first hemming. You can see it's not good. And then I made this like, it's almost like, it's almost like a, a tiny corset, but not. It's kind of more of like a belt and it ties in the back again, like. It has the same tying as like the other one, except this time instead of tying the, them across, I tied them straight across, um, and I didn't do bows because I was like, whatever. <laughs> I was, I was, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so then it goes in the front, and this was actually nice because I, I thought I could use it as a waistband for this skirt. Because this skirt that I made, I'm going to show you, is kind of high to low, and it's elastic. And this, with this over it, you can't really tell that it's like elastic, and I think it looks a lot nicer than just like a cheap elastic waist skirt and it does go to a point in the back which isn't really staying down I need to iron that but it looks really nice um the only thing I'd say is the skirt needs to be ironed um but yeah um I think everything's like really nice and I really think I'm improving on my craftsmanship and honestly I want to sew for my Etsy shop someday I know the only thing I have on there is flower crowns. I also think it would be cool to make wings for my Etsy shop, but obviously not like this because these just have like hot glue everywhere. Um, but you no, know, need to improve your skills. I think this is good for my doll purposes because I really wanted, of course, to have more mermaidy things. Um, I really like this like hair extension, except I wish it was like the actual texture of her hair because um, this is just made out of yarn that I brushed out and then styled in her hair basically and this is by pinned in this is by pinned in this actually goes like this it's just bobby pinned so, so tell me what you guys think of my crafts and thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe it was great having you bye